stressing. Mel's been missing all night and you're asking me to stop stressing. Well, she did say she was moving out. That's not funny, Sophie. Oh, no, she probably just crashed at a friend's house or something. Maybe she's had an accident and all because I forced her out. She has not had an accident, Mum. You know what Mel's like when she's been drinking? I haven't had a wink of sleep all night. It's, it's nearly lunchtime. She can't come home yet because her pride won't let her. Go upstairs and have a shower and get dressed. While well, she's missing. Mum, I'd know if something had happened. Yeah, the weird twin thing would have kicked in. I'm not picking up any tremors yet. I think she was serious about moving out. Where to, Mum? <laughs> she's got no money. Go on, go and have a shower. I'll be five minutes. What are you doing with that, mate? Everybody passive here, we do. Practical today. Are you nervous? No. Yeah. Well, I wasn't until my mum said I wasn't ready. Right, how many times did she take to pass? Four. The fans rest, mate. <laughs> she might be right, though. I haven't had much practical experience. Look, mums are designed to stress. It's genetics. You see, you think you're going for a driving test today under the supervision of a driving instructor who will obviously jump in should any danger arise, whereas your mum, she thinks you're going to get in a car and die in a 34-car pileup. It's genetics, mate. It's messed up. So come on. I'll give you a lift and then we can come back and celebrate, eh? All right. You all right? Hey, are you? You better hurry up, mate. Where are you off? Got my driving test. There was a cancellation. Well, that's brilliant news. I am frost yet. Do you want a lift? Nah, Darren's going to take me. Right, well, uh, that's probably best. I'm busy and everything, you know. Tatting show next week. That's what I like to hear. Well, I'll let me know how it goes, yeah? Will do. Come on, boy. Good luck. <laughs> Morning. What do you want? Oh, well, I'm just passing the time of day, being sociable, you know. <laughs> what would you know about being sociable? Thanks to you and your unsociable mob, my restaurant is empty. Have you ever considered that it might be your food? Listen, mate. There's nothing wrong with my food, all right? That's not what I've heard. Yeah, well, at least I've got a job. And if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to it. Not all of us can sit around all day on our backside, scrounging off the government. So I see you got your cut, mate. <laughs> I'm only asking, because the police told me that you were under the impression that I'd taken it. Right after they'd cleared me of having anything to do with us. Yes, well, you might have fooled them, but I'm on to you and your caravan of crime over there. So they didn't catch the person that took it? Not yet. Well, whenever you're ready. What for? To give me your apology. Me apologise to you? That's uh, kind of how it works, yeah. It's you that should be apologising to me for, for polluting the village with your fires, littering the streets, driving my customers away from my restaurant, having a rabid, flea-ridden dog savage my godson, not to mention being physically attacked in the street by your ignorant thug of a brother. You're a cancer, that's what you lot are. Hold it! I'm a what? Why don't you just leave him alone? Lara, these people have got nothing but disregard for our whole society, okay? You're not wanted here. You're talking rubbish. So you got in trouble again? No. I was just having a friendly discussion with the neighbour here, that's all. I've got my eye on you. Let's hope it's a good one, eh? You've been warned, all right? You're always like that. Arrogant, rude, petty, stupid. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Not everyone around here feels the same way as he does, you know? Don't worry about it. I'm used to dealing with fellas like him by now. Right, well, I get going. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> On the phone too. You can't hear any of this? Why, who is it? No, it's out. If Becca wants you to know, then she'll tell you. What's it got to do with Becca? I am planning your beloved's hen party. Becca's? Yeah. Steph, when exactly did Becca ask you to be a chief bridesmaid? She doesn't have to ask me. I'm obviously going to say yeah. I'm your sister. Yeah, but... Are you worried that I'm going to lead her astray? <laughs> no. Well, you should be. Have you seen the body on these guys? Steph? Oh, I'm joking. I'm not going to let her run off with a bloke. Hey. Hey. Do you fancy coming in for a drink? Yeah, I'll follow you in. Right. Wicked. Mm -hmm. I better go. I've got a head night to plan. You better go, James. How did the video shoot go yesterday? Ugh, bunch of amateurs. My agents don't sue them for wasting my time. So you're not going to be on TV then? Not for that talentless wannabe, no way. Erotic dancers? Naked men. Can I come? Sorry. What do girls see in guys like this? 
Their intellectual conversation. And hot fit bodies. Keep reading. I just think it's a bit pathetic. Some guy takes his top off and you all go mental. I bet we don't if you take yours off. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was a top night, wasn't it? Yeah? <laughs> she didn't. How's it going? Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, it's alright, I was uh, on the phone. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. You stay there. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, they must have hung up. <laughs> it's just... Oh. Have you made a will? Why, what's wrong? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Listen, I'm glad I bumped into you. You are? Yeah, yeah, I never got the chance to thank you properly. What for? For sticking up for us in front of the old grumbler over there. Yeah, well, he's never happy unless he's complaining. I reckon I must have made his week then. <laughs> anyway, I know what it's like to be treated like a second-class citizen. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, I'm a woman. Right. Well, just to show you that I don't go in for them stereotypes, why don't you come over? I'm cooking. Well, I should really get back. Falkner and Fitzgerald wait for no one. Well, I'm sure they'll manage without you for an hour. Look, I know what I'm doing if that's what you're worried about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>